short video here about what I think is the best 3D printable phone stand, which is super easy to print, very versatile and even adjustable without having to go into a real 3D design studio. So huge advantages and of course that's this stand. I've been trying a couple of different stands here. I've been using this one here, quite fancy one, but didn't work because of course I have here on this phone a button here which is always pushing here against that and then it tried to make screenshot or some other stuff depending on what you have assigned here but it was not a bad thing it was also a little bit too small for this large phone here and so it fell always into this gap here in between and I've been trying just with this normal fence mount here of course that's also possibility just design normal bracket 290 degrees angle it's already done but when you want to have something more fancy more flexible then maybe that's the model to go and I think it's a really really nice one by the way of course I didn't design that on my own I just found it in the internet it's a quite old model I think it's about 10 years old already but for me that's so convincing I really love it what we have here are three or actually four parts you can take it apart you can see of course, if you want to have it a little bit more stable, you have to add some glue here, maybe some silicon or something like that. What's awesome here in this model is that we have these very simple stand parts on the side. They are super easy to print, no matter what printer you have, what filaments you're using. I've been using PET G with 30% infill and I skip the adhesion or brim or whatsoever works really good I mean with the anchor make in general I don't have to use a lot of brim or so usually things are sticking really nicely and on top of that I've printed these parts which are not part of the core design but there's a link on the website and by the way I'm going to show you everything what you need there there's a link also to these parts here which you can add really nice maybe if you make them a little bit larger then they would have a perfect fit you would probably not even need some glue and what's the awesome thing here is i mean this is pretty large i think you don't have to change the size of course you can also scale it a little bit if you want but i think it will fit 90 or 95 percent of the phones these days but the really awesome thing here is that we can just change the length of these spacers and then have different size so you can see how easy this is we just add this here then add the other side on top and so of course what's the idea is to have some space here in between so if you have some buttons for example this one here or this one here depends totally on the phone we'll still be able to put it down for example something like that and then we are not hitting the button here underneath no matter how much you press here whatever you have maybe volume button or so and then when you have something on the other side it's not pushing against that so you can change the distance here exactly based on your needs and I think it's a really beautiful thing really stylish even 10 years later and so let me show you the things which you need by the way I'm not going to paste links into the description of the video it has become way too dangerous to post anything apart from maybe amazon links or so but it's a very short url if you want to type it the item is 229,655 on thingiverse.com you can see some images what we need of course down here are the files but actually i mean we just need this stl file i don't even know why we would need that maybe somebody can explain me why we would need that i've just downloaded the stl and additionally yeah, i think in the details we can see the middle pieces then you click on this thing here then you get to the 3d model of these tubes so i've also downloaded this file and then opened with my anchor make studio just dragged and dropped the sdl file here so i have this part that's the original part and then i had also 
this one here just copy pasted so I had two or actually what I did I mean of course I had it first like that and the cool thing is here you just can scale it so you don't have to go to a normal full function 3d studio alone with the scaling you can change the length here for example watch this thing here you can see the length 55 millimeters 33 millimeters can make it even super long that's really nice and when you have it you copy paste it put it here by the way I've not been using sequential printing for that I'm done with that usually with pet G for me at least for my printer it's working good also with normal printing all in one without having to use sequential printing I've been using 30% infill instead of 10% and then removed the brim to no brim and of course I've not been using PLA I've been using patchy but of course you can do the same thing also with PLA if you use enough infill maybe even a little bit more I mean patchy is usually a little bit harder probably for patchy 20% would have been enough so 30% for PLA something like that but you have to try and find out it's not a lot of material and worked absolutely awesome first attempt absolutely successful and I've even been able to print these two items without the brim with the anchor make M5C which I actually really like and that's the only thing which I will put down into the description of the video because it's my favorite 3d printer very very reliable at least with PLA I'm struggling a little bit with pet G but these are my first prints that I'll have to figure out how to do that but with the PLA it worked absolutely awesome 100% reliability that's pretty hard to find and so yeah I would say that's it for now I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or better suggestions how to make a really good solid fancy beautiful and even very flexible phone stand then just let us know down in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time